What is going on YouTube? This is Vice speaking and welcome back to part 12 of the Dragon Quest 3 playthrough. Guys, there's a lot of updates. First of all, this is the first recording in the third session of episodes, so I can finally formally apologize for taking such a long break. Uh, it was unforeseen, definitely did not want things to go the way they did, um, but I was in the hospital for a while, I got very sick, but I think we finally got it all sorted out, so I should be back and better than ever. Uh, fingers crossed. In this episode, you may notice I am uh, I'm, I'm starting in a position that I, I wasn't in in the last episode. Um, we're back in the castle of Isis because while I was journeying around looking for um, these you know magic key doors, I didn't even think to check the castle. But we go in here. Oh, actually, can we access this? You better let me in. Beloved queen, do not. Oh, are you serious? How do we? Can we not access them? Dang, man, that sucks. I really thought. I mean, the queen doesn't say anything. It's not like we can get in her good graces or something. Unless there is a way. I don't know, man. Let's see what you have to say. Ah, I could stare at the water forever. My elder brother, too, was captivated by its purity. Where he is now, I wonder. It has been many moons since he left for Asham. Okay, so that's disappointing, but I guess there really is not much to pick up here. I might go speak to the queen to see if she says literally anything new. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't see this. Oh, this is quite fancy. Any hidden items anywhere? No, okay. What do you say? This is Her Majesty's bedchamber. None may enter uninvited. Well, I'm here now. Oh, also, uh, I've changed the settings on the microphone because um, I never really addressed it, but I'm sure you all heard, you know, the subtle buzzing in every single episode. Um, I think it's because I had my mic turned up a lot, but it was also very far from me. And what I've done is now I've turned the mic volume down, but I've put it closer to me. So hopefully that, you know, levels things out, you shouldn't hear that buzzing. I, of course, will be checking out this video to see if it fixed anything. Um, let me know if the volume is too high or too low. Um, I'll definitely be looking into it either way, so. Uh, looks like she says the same exact thing. Yeah, I guess. I guess, since you're gonna ask me. Um, one final update. I have done a, a quite a lot of grinding, and, you know, we have some some uh, new spells to go over. First of all, Vice. Now Vice, he... Oh, actually, does he have new spells? Oh, I forget. I forgot what he had. No, Snooze is definitely new. Snooze. Um, Snooze puts enemies to sleep. That's, you know, pretty simple. Uh, Marcella doesn't have anything. Margaret has learned quite a bit. She's learned Cockadoodle Doo, which is a spell to uh, wake up your party members in the event that they are put to sleep by an enemy. So, you know, pretty handy as well as Fizzle, which does the exact same thing, except it's for... Did I say Fizzle? I meant Tingle. <laughs> Tingle, it does the same thing except for Paralysis. Um, otherwise, Snooze might be new on her, I don't know, but we know what that does already, so... Finally, last but not least, Betty has learned Drain Magic, a very unique spell in which she's able to take MP from enemies, and I believe it transfers to her. Um, so, you know, super fancy super fancy anyways we are actually gonna head down to the pyramid at this point because there is one final uh, was, uh, what am I trying to say uh, there's one final thing that you know actually I know you saw it while I was in the pyramid it is a magic key door but I didn't have the magic key and I sort of forgot about it when I did get the magic key um, so I'm gonna make my way down there now I might cut it out but I'll still show you the way to get to that place so I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Okay, so I believe that if we fall down, I really hope this is right. Um, I was like, why the heck am I not falling? It should be down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I just remembered because of the secret staircase that we found. So it should, yep, it's still here. I can't believe I forgot about this, but now we can actually go through this door and see what the heck is back here. 
Nah, this is pretty suspicious. I have no idea what this even is, to be honest. An ancient looking sarcophagus sits on the slab. Open it. Hey, you only live once. Uh, I'm going for it. A set of solid gold claws gleam softly within. They must be worth an absolute fortune. Okay, interesting. Now, could this be... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what? I'm cursed. What, is, what happened? Now, I'm pretty sure I still can't use spells. I'm gonna just, just try it out. Why is evac 8 MP? That's so much. Uh, I don't know what's... Wait a minute. This is kind of shady. Is, am I crazy or are they gonna throw a battle at us every two steps we take? Is that the curse? Because that's so overpowered. Like, cut me, cut me some slack here, people. And why do these enemies seem stronger? Stronger than they should be, at least. The shade has like no HP. I don't know why it took three hits to kill, but okay. Yeah, something's definitely going on here. Ah, uh, this is this is shady. I'm gonna have to cut away and figure this out right after we get these toads out of our faces. Um, they shouldn't be too hard though. Especially with Vice. You may notice that he's using a whip. Um, of course, that is a new weapon for him that I will show you in uh, due time where I got it from. But for now, I'm cutting away real quick, alright? Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is strange because I didn't even think about the fact that they are claws and nobody in our party can equip claws, so I guess the only thing I can think to do is sell them. Basically, this curse means that every time we take a step, we enter a battle. Um, I, I, I just don't know what else to do other than try and walk my way out of here at this point. Um, you can also discard the claws, which is... Uh, I want to see if I can sell it. Um, but I don't know, this is a real tricky one, because if you just, if you, excuse me, if you discard the claws, the curse has no effect on you. Um, so I'm going to cut away to figure out what decision I want to make. I'm sorry for so many cuts, but I just need to think on this really quick. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is actually, as crazy as it sounds, I'm going to try to make my way outside of this pyramid. Um, uh, yes, it's going to take forever, but... That's what I'm gonna do, all right? I'll meet you guys outside, okay? Well, change of plans, okay? The next, the very next battle I got into, somebody did a desperate hit on Vice and murdered him instantly. So that's great. I really, really, really do not wanna discard these claws because I think they can sell for a ton of gold. But I, I think I might have to if I'm being straight up. Like, it, I think it has to happen. Oh, God, I don't want to, man. You may never find their like again. But we have no other choice. Like, this is ridiculous. I think it has to be done. Unceremoniously discarded. Uh, now, at this point, we need to get out of here. This is, uh, this is not good. I'll meet you guys back in the town of Isis for another secret. The castle of Isis, excuse me, for another secret. I'll see you guys. Alright, so as you can see, I've made my way back to the Castle of Isis at night time. Um, because there are a couple things that we can do here that we would not be able to do otherwise. Like if we came here in the day. First of all, I'm just going to explore this little corridor really quick. What the heck is down here? Did I already do this? Now I feel stupid. Ooh, what's down here? Am I allowed to just... Well, what well, luck, the meteorite bracer. Just chilling there. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa. Whoa, I was honest and he. Whoa. Oh, that's so awesome. He rewarded my honesty. See, guys, it's good to be genuine. That's a life. Man, that's a dang life lesson right there. You better take something from that dude. Uh, okay. Now, to go over the Meteorite Bracer, it is quite the accessory. It doubles the agility of any party member you put it on. Uh, 
extremely invaluable. I'm gonna throw it on Vice just because Margaret and Betty already have accessories, and I don't want Mar I don't want Marcella to have agility. I actually always want her to be the slowest party member. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it on Vice for now. That might change in the future, but hey, you never know. Did I go the wrong way? Can you not get out there? Oh, okay. I will meet you guys inside of the castle, okay? Alright, finally made it. Now, this is something that I didn't even think to check, and I feel quite stupid for that. But you come here at night, and everybody's asleep. Literally everyone. Um, so there's no guards to block these chests. So, we can go crazy. We get 80 gold, a nice seed of life, a golden tiara, sounds pretty fancy, and a mini medal. Uh, now let's see, Golden Tiara, what's that all about? First of all, Seed of Life. <laughs> That's a tough one. I think I'll put it on Betty because her defense is always the lowest. Literally have to give everything to Betty because she's so dang... Ugh, Betty's just Betty. Uh, this is a luck accessory? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess for now, since Marcella has no other accessory, I'll give it to her. Um, it might make her get critical hits more often. And of course, Mini Metal is going in the bag. Let's check room number two. Oh, get out of my way, cat. As much as I love you. 72 gold. Oh. A silk robe. A ruby wristband. That sounds good. And a seed of wisdom. Um, Now, as far as MP, 87, 87... For the sake of changing things up, I think I will just give this to uh, give this one to Margaret. Uh, Ruby wristband. Change. Oh, changes personality. Well, you know how that goes. I'll have to do some research in between episodes to see if the personality it gives you is actually a good one or not. And finally, the silk robe. I'm sorry if you can hear that outside. I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully, this new microphone setting uh, will make it so that that's not as big a deal. But we'll see. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Now, I think we might be able to check the queen's uh, bedchamber or whatever. Yeah, let's come up this way. Whoa, those children are just knocked out. That's kind of freaky. Whoa, what the heck is going on? Hey, uh, uh, come on, man. Goodness. <laughs> I am pleased that you thought to visit me under the cover of darkness. Many are the suitors who come to the palace under false pretenses. I could not lightly grant you an audience lest they take encouragement from my kindness. Alas, I fear I can do little for you, but allow me at least to present you with a small gift. Search the floor behind the head of the bed, and you will find it. I swear I did this earlier, but I guess it's only at night. A prayer ring. Okay, okay, I appreciate it. Let's see what it does. Oh, I think it's the same as Dragon Quest 2. It gives you MP. Uh, that's going straight in the bag for now, but that will be incredibly useful. Um, okay, finally, at this point, we can actually make some progress with the story. Um, we're moving on to the next town. We've heard of, uh, we've heard a lot about the town of Portoga. I know you see it down there. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to show you how to get there, all right? You already know we're cutting out battles. That's the way we do things. So, uh, if you will kindly follow me. Come in here and we can actually go through this door now. Since we have the magic key. We, um, could not do this previously. There's a jailer's door that we can't access just yet. But we will be sure to come back here when we do get that key. For now, we're continuing south. Okay, that was quite the battle, man. That was ridiculous. Um, they attacked when we weren't ready, so they got a bunch of cheap shots on us, but we're fine. We're moving on. And here is the castle town of Pertoga. Hola, welcome to Pertoga. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, here is a place where young couples do tarry. Though some will not last, still yet others will marry. There once were two lovers who came almost daily. Where now are those faces that smiled then so gaily? Mm-hmm. Hit me with that poem. Uh, that poetry. Uh, okay. At this shop here is where I bought this spiked steel whip. At least I am, uh, almost certain. Yeah, it's right here. Um, it costs a bit of gold, but it is so, so, so worth it. 
it was stronger than Vice's last weapon, and it hits groups. So, I mean, come on now. You can't get much better than that. Over here, I'll show you a little secret. Come over here to this patch of grass, you can find another mini metal. Awesome. Horse doesn't do anything, he just neighs. Um, video's gotta end soon. We're at 28 minutes, but I'm sure I'm gonna cut out a lot of, <laughs> of battles and waiting around. Ooh, to taste the fiery magic of black pepper just once before I die. This would be to have lived indeed. Hmm, okay. This guy's an inn, if you were wondering. Let's see what he says. Ah, you require a boat? Then you must speak with the king, not me. Vaza, leave me alone. Alright, chill. I ain't doing nothing to nobody. What do you say? The king of our country is fond of the fiery flavor of black pepper. There are countries in the east where it can be purchased most cheaply. But there is none crazy enough to undertake such a journey merely for spices, surely. Hey, that sounds like a quest made for me, alright? Hola, I am Sabrina. I was just daydreaming of my beloved. The nights, they are so long. So lonely without my dear Carlos. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, hope Carlos comes back soon. Empty. Seed of strength. Awesome. You already know who that's going on. No question. Take that, Marcella. Let's move on. I'm trying to move a bit quick because I'm going to end the episode soon. I know we've been going for a long time. With a boat at your command, you could sail the world and procure many exotic cargoes. Oh, just imagine. Hey, I heard that. You're trying to get me a boat. Hola, welcome in the Castello of Portoga. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Uh, we'll go this way first. Now, of course, I see the elephant in the room. I'll get to that in a second. In the lands of the east, there is a great shrine where pilgrims from across the world travel to alter their vocations. Aye, if I could only visit such a place. Hmm, interesting. Um, okay. Now let's see here. Uh, you want to make sure all of your people are at max health. You don't need any special spells to get these chests. You just got to be very careful of everybody's HP. Inside chest number one is a staff of anti-magic, which I will actually not be using just because I have this weird obsession with Betty's poison needle. I just think, of course it does one damage, but it's so good when it insta-kills enemies that it's just so invaluable. Um, so I'll probably end up selling that. Chest number two is a seed of resilience. Chest number three is a tough guy tattoo. And let me just tell you, all right, you, you, you ain't seen nothing like the tough guy tattoo. First things first, resilience, Betty, easy. Um, tough guy tattoo, increases attack by I believe eight points. Um, now this is an accessory that was made for the class of warriors, okay? Obviously, that's all they do, is go around attacking. So you know for a fact I'm putting that on Marcella. Um, the golden tiara will probably just go in the bag for now. I don't know the values of luck, if I'm being honest, so. We'll just, we'll just do that for now. Alrighty. I'm over here. There's a magic door. And the queen, I'm, I'm presuming? All anybody speaks of these days is exploring the lands of the east. But I find such an idea terrifying. After all, are the people there not savages and barbarians? Well, don't, you know, give them a chance. I've never met the people of the east, but we will be traveling there very, very soon. Um... I am the man who tells only verdades, ver verdades, I don't know how to pronounce that word, truths. Do you wish to hear one? Sure. A mentiroso, boa memoria, a liar, he should have a good memory. I don't know what you mean, what are you talking about? And finally, last but not least, we speak with the king of Portoga, whom we've heard a bit about. It is said that in the lands of the east, much pepper grows. Journey there, adventurer, and bring me news of what you find. If you bring back precious pepper, I will honor you as a hero and present to you my very own flagship as your prize. Show this letter to the dwarf Nordy, who dwells in the tunnel leading eastward. He will grant you passage. Vice receives the royal missive. Now, go forth, Vice, and may the goddess herself bless your voyage. And with that, 
We're calling it an episode, all right? We've been here for recording is at 33 minutes. There's going to be lots of cuts in this one. I'm sorry if this is a long episode. I tried to go longer to compensate for all the cuts that I'm going to make, but I actually, I, you know, I don't know what the final length of this video will be. So let me just end it off here. If you did enjoy, you can of course like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve these videos in the comments down below. With all of that said, guys, I'm going to let that out to do its thing, and I will see you guys in the next episode, alright? I'm out of here.